The power of the blaster is pretty good. And I think the range might be alright as well. It's just the ink consumption to watch. I really wish I could switch the things I'm holding in midair. Thank you, Blaster, for being somewhat good at range. Oh yeah, I forgot. I still have to do this with the brush, don't I? All my sanity that the... That, that the Blaster is giving me is going to be lost. It's just nice to be comforted by weapons sometimes. Just going to cry into my Blaster for a minute. At least with the brush I can just ignore using curling bombs. That's a hole there. I remembered why I really hate this particular platform to throw bombs at. Because they roll off so easily. I know they've got platforms, but they're also just they're, they're so easy for the stuff to fall off still. Ah, running on grates. What a wonderful thing. Just have to be careful of ink consumption with this weapon as well. <sighs> I love when that one goes all the way that way. Yeah, so far it's not been too bad with the brush, actually. But there's not really anything more to say. It just is. It's not as bad as some of the other weapons, actually. That's not the one I meant. Oh, that's not the one I meant. Ow. I mean, it was slow, but it wasn't as draining of life. It, w it was just drained of life because of all the other weapons that I've struggled with. Gonna put it in mid-tier or something? I don't know. Some levels are just not designed for some weapons. No wonder I didn't remember that level that much. Like, I, why I for try to forget it. But I think this level over here is one that I like a lot more. There are a few things that are weird with it, like this first platform here where we have to actually reach that up there. But other than that, it's alright, so it's just got a few weird things in it. I like the design of this one. It reminds me a lot of Splatoon 1, which is a good thing because I like Splatoon 1. It feels a lot more combat based, which is good. A lot less having to worry about platforming. The hero show is just good in general. I don't think I've played a level where it's not good. It's designed for every level basically, whereas some levels aren't designed for other weapons. It's weird. You'd think it'd just be about the same with, like, this weapon. Like, some, it, there has to be some levels where the hero shot isn't good, so. But no, so far I think it's pretty much good in every level, so. It's a good thing I know how to take out the AI a lot better than I used to. It's really just take them out as soon as you possibly can and they won't have a chance to react. Also, the previous level was not good for power eggs either. It's another reason not to replay it. 243. It's pretty good. And I think I'm just gonna go casually through with the rest of the weapons. I might get a better time with them, with some of them, but I think for the most part that's the best time I'm gonna get. It's mostly just going through that one section with the sniper that's different in any kind of way. Or maybe even fighting the the Octolings, but yeah, that's should be that different. Especially because I already took them out pretty quickly with the hero shot, so. I'm glad that these activate as soon as I get here. No matter what. Means I can't get past quickly. That's okay. They have to teach me somehow. I did see a video on Twitter about hitting, like throwing a bomb out on the ground at the best time to take out an opponent when they're jumping to a position. And it's like when the arrow pointing down is like just started disappearing basically. 
you can like throw a bomb at the ground and it's just perfectly timed to take them out basically. But I don't think I'm going to have that advantage here. And there's not going to be that many times in multiplayer I don't think. Where I'm going to need to know that, but uh, it will be good to keep that in mind. But the enemies in this, they just spawn in in interesting positions, so you can't really take them out that, like that. Although you could try. Even if it takes an extra second before they drop in, you still should be able to take them out. I think I need to upgrade the roller, just to have better combat power. Because that's what it excels at, really. That's what I'd say it excels at. Nicely done. Three minutes with the roller. What was the other time? I can't remember. But I thought it was more than that. A little less. I don't know. More than that, I thought. Guess my time was good on the other weapon. I think the stage is actually. Like, generally, you can have the. curling bombs out, but I think there's a lot more sections. Like, there's a few places where you definitely want to have spat bombs ready. Like breaking the box at the beginning. But you would definitely want curling bombs at like this section. And I would say splat bombs over here if you can. Just for taking out this guy. Also another problem with this level is this platform here. We have to actually get high enough to hit the target. But that's basically the only problem I have with this level. And the box at the beginning, but that that's that's it. And the box at the beginning isn't that bad. The dualies are so good. Just have to remind you about that. It's a good fact to be aware of. Wait, 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 wait. 236? I just realized. Speed. Guess you also don't need to worry about all the enemies. Except that I'm still messing up, so it's not going to matter anyway. How can you shoot up this high? I don't know. Asking myself questions and answering my own questions now. It's dangerous. Brilla was decent. Let's see how Splatling goes. It's got good range, so... Oh my goodness, doesn't even stand a chance against the Splatling. This level's also doing really well for Power Rigs. I was really hoping to get that landing. Nope. Well, this is fine. This is why I have the Splatling. Just in case I mess up something else. I wish there was like a speedrun mode for Splatoon. Like, you can enable it and then it has like a timer. Like, showing you the timer. Like, you normally don't play with the timer kind of thing. But maybe it still keeps track. But then you can also have a speedrun mode where you can actually... Like, enable... Faster walls or something like that. Where, like, it spawns in... Grapples to get around up the walls faster or something. Just to make everything a little bit faster or something. That would be... That'd be cool, I think. Just because somebody who's played the story mode of Splatoon 2 too much. Trying to get all the fast times. Just like a dedicated speed mode. But yeah, Splat Splatling was good for that level. It fixed up all of my mistakes, basically, so that was actually a good weapon just to have. Feels like a good learning weapon. Okay, very nice. I'm glad that the blaster can reach that from down there. Also, what is this madness with this platform being in separate parts where it takes longer to climb? I need more range, game. If you're gonna do that to me. Blaster is pretty good so far. Although it's lacking in its speed, I think, right now. So it might be worth upgrading before this level. I'm doing it with this weapon, at the very least. It's good if it hits, but if it doesn't have enough range, well, no, though, if it doesn't have 
I guess, I guess range, but it's, it's alright for range right now. It, it's speed, it's rate of fire is a problem right now. Because I was going past some stuff and it was just not hitting it. Because I was needing to go quickly. Boss was alright. Could have been better a little bit. But it definitely wasn't terrible. Oh yes, slush a go. Oh, Slosher is just incredible. It really is my favorite weapon in the story mo in the story mode now, apparently. I've not played enough Slosher, I think, in multiplayer battles. Again, fixing my mistakes. I like weapons that fix my mistakes. Not to mention that it can paint walls and floors really well. Oh my goodness, Slosher is my... my gold. It's my golden ticket. <laughs> that's, that's the saying, right? I don't even know if there's a saying where it has, that has something to do with gold like that, but, you know. 233. Slosher, let's go. Oh my goodness. This is what true suffering looks like because of range. I think that's good enough, probably. Just have to spread the ink because that's all I can really do. Guess I'll switch sub weapon while I wait. Hasn't been so bad with the, the this after that one point at the beginning so far. It's one of the weapons that have to go up on the platform to reach the thing. A lot of the enemies that you have to worry about are close enough that you can use the brush on them. Just have to play it safe around this spot here. It wasn't extremely fast, but it wasn't terrible. The only thing that I didn't agree with it was the beginning. Just because of how much... ...that one po po pole thing you have to climb up just isn't good. Okay, so we're up to an Octoling stage, and we haven't used the Hero Shot for this, so let's see how this goes. The Hero Shot's probably going to set the, the score, so... But I might be able to beat it. I don't like the thing that slows me down, if, I, if, if I'm standing in it. These things, they're just not good. The range on the the hero shot is just good for this for taking these enemies out. 123. That's an alright time. I probably could have gone faster, but it's been a while since I've played this apparently. I'm not used to going fast anymore. That's weird. I'm too used to playing casual for some reason, even though I haven't played casual at all. I've just played multiplayer stuff. So far so good. <laughs> That worked better. It's just weird having a roller for this because you don't exactly have power automatically for taking stuff out. You can win the, the gunfight, but it's interesting. All of them have rolls, I think. I feel like charges should be good for this because we can take out everything from a distance and just be ready for them as soon as they spawn. Oh, it's so nice to just blast something away. I got splattered at the very end, of course. Well, there goes that time. The charger definitely has potential to go faster than that. I was, I was almost at good time. I need to take advantage of my sub weapon more. At least this is better for combat, I think, than some of the other weapons. Just a bit slower is the problem. I think the same with the uh, Splatling, probably. It's going to be good for combat and not great for speed. I mean, taking out the enemy seems like a good idea, because if you can take them out quickly, then you can go fast as well, but also still not fast enough. But a good weapon. 
I don't think this is upgraded yet, possibly. Or maybe I did upgrade it. No, I did upgrade it. And if I recall correctly, Blaster should be a good in-between. Oh yeah, it's a good in-between. If you can time it just right, it's so good for speed. Except I need to be careful at the end here because otherwise I will die. Because of you. You're gonna slow me down. There goes my time, probably. Maybe. Maybe. Please grab! Good. Good, good, good. Blaster, good. And that was unupgraded. Got splashed at the end with the bar. I was really believing in Slosh before that. But I got hit at the end by a bomb and then I was weak. I was vulnerable to the next attack. Has the potential for a good time, but I messed it up. I think it was a little bit slower than a blaster though. But that might be just you play a error. <laughs> that might just be a skill issue. Probably should switch up the path that I use a little bit more. Kind of like going into the middle first, actually. Because it allows me to prepare a path for when I go back through. And so far it's a little bit faster. For like a second or something. But it might have been always going to be like, like this time, but maybe it would have been faster if I did it the usual way. Come on, come on, come on. Speed, 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 speed. Come on, open. 115 with a brush, of all things. Wow. I'm kind of shocked by that, but also, it kind of makes sense. Got a XP ticket thing. Ah, uh, but we also have enough, uh, power eggs now to also do another upgrade. So I think I'm going to upgrade the blaster because that was doing so well for us. Although our brush did just get us a new time, so it does deserve some, some recognition. We still need so much more power eggs. It's crazy, but it's a good thing there's like several areas left. Two full areas. Octostop returns, here we go. Here shot, let's go. Very powerful. Very effective. Good at taking out his health, but also good at taking out his protection. His armor. He also has the range for inking up the wall. Thank you for breaking that. That was very close my demise. Just gonna wait for him to charge at me now. And that's a pretty good time. I, I, you can see why you don't get to use this weapon for this fight normally. 123. Again! What is that? Why is it so consistently 123 with the hero shot? Oh really? Knockback? You're what's gonna mess me up now? I don't even understand why there was knockback there. <laughs> oh, I'm getting destroyed. Oh my goodness. You used up too much ink. Or something, I don't know. This is not going to go well with the roller, I don't think. Especially since this is only the second round and not the third round. I'm going to use the edge because I think that's all I have for this. To make this kind of work a little bit. Not much, though. And you don't even turn all the way. What is with that? Already it's taken longer than the hero shot. I guess I also haven't upgraded this weapon, but still. You'd expect it to not be this difficult. Knockback nearly got me again. Okay, here we go. Third round. Hello. Again, I'm going to use this under area. Charge at me. Do something. Or not, okay. That works too. If only I had slightly more range than this, I wouldn't feel so bad. Because I have to jump and shoot to really do enough. No, I can do I can just shoot out. I'm probably messing myself up. Just 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 throw it normally. No jumping involved. 
Except for when you get to this bit, because it makes it easier to climb the wall. And also probably does more damage without being knocked off the edge. Three or two. Now, I'm interested to see how this goes with Charger, because we can do a few things differently with this. Because we have the range and the power. My favorite story. Yeah, that's brilliant. This is brilliant. And makes for climbing up very easy. Also, it's already destroyed. Wow. Incredible. But slower. Just a little bit. Let me check if this was upgraded. I think it's upgraded. But it was only slower by like three seconds, so that's... That's either saying something about the level of this, or the level of the, the hero shot. Yeah, this is upgraded. The hero shot is just crazy. I'm- I- I must be used to playing Splatoon or something, because I am not even worrying about him attacking me anymore. I can take the hit and then survive. Well, Sabrella's alright for this. Yeah, I'm getting too risky with this, but okay. It's working out for me. Considering it worked out so well, it was considerably slower. That's probably because it wasn't upgraded, but anyway. Come on, Splat- Splat- Charger- No, what's it called? Splatling. That's what it is. I knew there was a splat in there somewhere. It's pretty good for this. It's very strong. Because it's been upgraded, but... It's- it's just good. <laughs> oh, here they come. And in the pit makes this great. Being in the pit like that made that incredible. Absolutely incredible, Splatling. 118. Also, the, I just just note that the brush is going to be something in itself, considering its range. And the fact that I need to be up close to its face. Only problem with Blaster I can see so far is that it has to paint the wall a bit slower. I almost died. Wow. Just let me hit your face, please. I'm so close. There we go. You might be able to do it in two splotches if you do it right. On the side, but... It's uh, very difficult. If you can get him while he's uh, charging at you, it's probably going to make the most sense. Thank goodness for invincibility frames. Why'd you push me backwards? I was hoping you'd push me forwards. Then I'd be in front of you. You could do more damage. Pit, 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 pit. Nope, not good enough in the pit. Didn't get the direct hit that I needed. Again. keep missing. And it's not good. There we go, finally. Would be good if I could <laughs> aim good. I believe in Slosher. I believe in Slosher. I believe. Never mind, I'm in the pit and I can't get out and it's not working. Maybe? There we go, Slosher is brilliant. Bit slow, but I blame myself for that. Okay, brush is doing alright so far. Except for the fact that I'm down here now and I can't really paint this wall all too well, but maybe... No, it's fine. If I didn't fall in the pit though, that would have been better. Just gonna get out of the way of this. And then lure it over this way, because that's gonna work a lot better for me. Yeah, brush is actually doing alright. What is this? Have I been lying to myself about brush? Is Brush really life? Oh, I fell in the pit again. I think I'm going to miss this loop, which is going to make this really bad. Please, no. No. I might have actually had a better time with Brush, surprisingly. But I messed it up. Because I'm not waiting for it to move first. Before I try and cover it. Brush has potential, surprisingly. I need to stop doubting the brush. I keep doing that. 
and every time it surprises me. Never doubt the brush. But there we go, that's all of Sector 3, I believe. Get some money. Let's go bowling. Roller should be sh good for this. If I play well. Also, can I just say that I've missed the the glittery ink? It's kind of weird. It's been I've been so used to it for a while, but I'm coming back to it after ages away from it. I appreciate it a lot more. I think I could probably just rush to the end of this, starting to worry about the giant bowling balls hurtling towards me. Also, gotta say, I also miss the music here as well. This this song, for some reason, it's one that I remember well and enjoy. One fifty nine. Charger seems good for this first section. It feels fast. I feel faster holding the charger for some reason. I don't think that's a thing, but I feel faster in every way. Moving platforms are the hardest thing I've had to deal with so far. Going for it. Yeah, I'm small enough to reach underneath that edge there, so I, it's it's safe. I trust me. 146 with the charger. It, it did feel faster for some reason, just holding the charger, but I guess I'm just better with movements when I'm not using the roller. Although I think the roller isn't upgraded, so I don't know what that has to do with anything, but anyway. Actually, same with dualies. I feel faster again. I'm not sure if dodge rolling is going to help me, but I'm going to use it as much as I can because it is... It's there, so... It is, like I said. That's the whole sentence, it is. Sorry, I'm making fun of myself. Nope, didn't make it. I think because of not getting to this point as quickly as I would have, I actually lost some time than last last round, which is interesting. It's hard to stay consistent. Oh, oh, I dodge rolled right into death. I dodge rolled into the end and it was perfect. 146. Just, lo just love dodge rolling to the end, it's like halfway upside down as I get, get to end the level. Oh, that was a risky jump, but I did it. I like the spread that the umbrella has. Also, I feel the, the speed, the need for speed again. I don't feel slow. Now I feel slow. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I was getting hit a lot in the first run. 146 with the umbrella. It's an alright time. This seems like an alright level. This is actually a lot of fun. Ow. Mm, making mistakes with the splatling. I don't think I'm going to get a good time with this one. Making big mistakes with the splatling. I think apart from that first section, I'm doing alright. But just a little bit slower because of it. 154. It was just that one section that just ruined me, apparently. I was too blinded by the speed. So I like to do that at the beginning because it helps me get into the trail faster. I did it again. I need to be patient, but I'm not patient. I am really not doing well with this. Wow. Good thing there's a checkpoint right here, so nobody will ever notice. I'm just... Help. <laughs> Send help. I mean, once I've already set a time, I don't really need to set a better time. I'm just trying to go fast because there's a lot to get through. Ah! Knock back, why? I'm being patient, being patient, being very patient. It's fine. Ah, 
Ow. Ah. Oh my goodness. Also, that bowling, the, the one of them fell off the edge. Don't know how that happened. It's just part of the game. I feel very defeated right now. It's fine. I just, I was, it's because I said I was having fun. The game had to do something about that. I believe in slosher. Speed doesn't matter if I'm faster enough. Being impatient doesn't matter if I'm too quick for the impatience to affect me. I have uh, slosher on my side. Oh, so that was another risky jump. I wonder if speed runners use the knockback to go faster. I really hope not because that would be a, a sad life to live. Unless it goes well for them every time. Which it probably does. If they did that. That's just a sh shame to reach here at that time when it was going up. Why oh, believe in the slosher? I believe in slosher. You can get a lot of things earlier than you're supposed to. Or other, earlier than you can with other weapons, that is. Ow, I really hope speedrunners don't use knockback because that... ...is very sad. Everything that just happened is very sad. Very sad indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, very sad. Quite so. What's this thing called? Patience? I don't know. I think it's the thing in hospitals. 155. Do I doubt the brush? No, I don't doubt the brush. I, I believe in brush. I believed in the slosher though, and that didn't go well. At the end, at least. It means I can run through this area faster with the brush. At the expense of ink, but that's fine. Nice caught cool the timing that time. I think because I was faster in the other section, it's adding up to this section being faster as well. Range is going to be a problem in a second though. No, it's fine. Don't! Nah! It's fine, everything's fine. Everything's just fine. One thirty eight. I didn't doubt the brush and it paid off. Never doubt the brush. The brush was just able to get through sections much faster in that level. That was good.